Get ready to sweat. Today was kind of just an appetizer of what's ahead because the humidity is going to skyrocket. The temperatures will climb and we have a heat advisory in effect for Thursday and Friday with a heat index. How hot it really feels up to triple digits. So the National Weather Service just wants to warn people to take care of themselves. I think they end up extending the heat advisory to include Saturday as well. Check out these temperatures up around 90 degrees or even hotter as we head through the next several days. We will get a break from both the heat and the humidity starting Sunday and lasting through a good part of next week. So a few days to go and then we're done. But the atmosphere is prime tomorrow. With the heat and humidity, we have a lot of instability. We also have a strong disturbance that's gonna pass to the north of us. So that could help to bring us strong to severe storms as we head through the afternoon tomorrow, especially between 3 and around 9 p.m. The most likely threat from a thunderstorm that develops will be for straight line damaging wind gusts. And these storms will be hit or miss. Not every town will see one, but there is a chance for a tornado or two across New England and the Northeast heading through the day tomorrow. You'll see that risk is higher in far northern Connecticut and even northern New England just over the border of Connecticut, but it's something that we can't rule out here within the state as well. So we'll be keeping a close eye on the radar as we head through the day tomorrow. Satellite and radar here close to home is quiet, but if we widen things out, you'll see this line of showers and thunderstorms, and I think we'll see some clouds along with this as we head towards daybreak tomorrow. Now we're seeing the dew points begin to climb. Today we were in this humid category. I mean, it's July, you expect humidity, right? But we're gonna see more of this tropical category by the time we head into tomorrow morning. And again, that's what's going to give us that fuel for some of those tropical downpours. Low temperatures tonight only falling back into the low to mid 70s. Some patchy fog developing as we head towards daybreak tomorrow. It is hot and humid. We'll be dry in the morning and afternoon other than maybe a spot shower. And again, we'll have that heat index up around the triple digits. Here's one of our computer models showing that chance for a shower and some cloud debris to kind of start off the day. Day. But once we break for sunshine, those temperatures will get off to the races and then we'll have to watch for those showers and storms to pass through. Again, this computer model shows it's kind of hit or miss in nature as we head through the afternoon and evening. Others are a little bit more numerous. It's going to be kind of one of those situations where we need to look at the radar and kind of now cast as we head through the afternoon and evening. I would just make sure that you have a way of getting weather alerts through the day tomorrow and we'll be here with you every step of the way. For Friday, we're dry. It is hot. It is humid. Again, feeling like triple digits with high temperatures climbing into the low to mid 90s. A cold front passes through on Saturday. That will bring us scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. Again, another risk for severe weather with that. Following which we will turn less humid and cooler as we head into Sunday and for much of next week. Here's a look at your Fox 61 seven day forecast. Again, you'll notice those 90s in place through Saturday. Temperatures about 10 degrees cooler between Saturday and Sunday. And look at the overnight lows. We go from low temperatures in the 70s to low temperatures near 60 as we head into next week. Almost a comfy summer air mass settling in. Your shoreline seven day. We will get close to breaking a record as we head into Friday. So that's how hot it's going to be. But then settling back to some cooler summer temps as we head through next week. Jen.